Google puts a new spin on search, Verizon kills off unlimited data stragglers, and some folks dream of tweeting to aliens. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Your Google search results will now look a bit different. Google has launched the Knowledge Graph Project, and it's designed to give you more information about a topic and help you find related items. For example, if you search for kings, you could mean the hockey team, the basketball team, or that TV show. Now, a box will be on the side to help you narrow it down to one topic. And when you search for something specific, like, say, the architect Frank Lloyd Wright, you'll get a fact box with info about him and his work. Within a fact box, you can keep digging deeper into more fact boxes, and if there's wrong information, just report it to Google. This new search data will roll out over the next few days. You can't always count on iPhone rumors, but here's one that's looking pretty solid. The next iPhone will have a larger screen. The Wall Street Journal has spoken with sources that confirm Apple has ordered larger screens from manufacturers in Asia. It'll be at least a 4-inch screen, if not larger. And we've seen a few other reports recently about Apple ordering larger screens. The iPhone has been the same 3.5-inch screen since it first launched in 2007. And in other stories, we're watching Verizon customers that have been grandfathered in a $30 monthly unlimited data plan will lose their unlimited data if they upgrade to a 4G LTE phone. A Verizon executive broke the news at a technology conference saying that eventually every 3G unlimited plan will be phased out and customers can move to a family data share plan. Facebook is reportedly seeking to add diversity to its current board of directors, which are all white males. Would be nice to see a woman on the board, because, you know, only 500 million Facebook users are female. Scientists have been working for years to communicate with extraterrestrial life forms, but ever thought about sending a tweet to an alien? It's an experimental art project that two guys are hoping you'll help fund on Rocket Hub. A team is asking for $8,500 to build a device that can transmit tweets to a distant planet. If they raise the money, all you need is to use the hashtag tweets in space and your message will be sent among the stars. I wonder which Twitter client they use on planet GJ667CC. When Windows 8 comes out later this year, it will be easier for parents to monitor their child's computer use. Parents can get weekly reports describing what websites they visit, what programs they use, and what games they play, and how long they spend on each thing. It's the next best thing to hovering over a child's shoulder. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, visit CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.